So with summer in full swing, we decided to pull up one of our biggest failures and see if we can give it a revamp and explain to you why it was terrible and why it might be a little bit better now. So the Splash Blaster was a project that we did basically on a whim last year in 2022. And it was basically August of 2022, where we were messing around with large uh, syringes and we basically thought, huh, we could probably turn that into a squirt gun that'd be pretty sick. So we started messing around with the design and we wanted to make something that looked kind of fun to mess around with. So we went ahead and designed this push blaster and it was really great because you could A, get a half liter of water very quickly, either by dumping it into a pool and pulling it out and then pressing it or pumping it in order to get a lot of uh, different kind of actions out of it. And then long term, we wanted to design different nozzles so you could get different types of streams out of the front of it. And then at the same time, you had the syringe that was the main plunger to drive the whole thing. And since it was 3D printed, we could change it over time, do all kinds of cool stuff. Long term, we had figured out how to find dye packs so that you could dye water red and blue, so you could have red team and blue team. And we kind of constructed it as this big old kind of war gun, which a lot of squirt guns weren't really able to do. It was the fact that there was this whole package. Now, the reason this was a stupid idea is because the squirt gun industry is so fantastically commoditized that it's ridiculous. There is no reason to buy another squirt gun and it's almost impossible to differentiate yourself within standard manual squirt guns. Um, we didn't really care. It was a fun project and we got to design the files and kind of do a demo about it. Uh, we did put it up on Kickstarter at the time, but again, highly saturated market and August of 2022. Not the greatest timing. Hopefully we're doing a little bit better right here because we decided to bring this back. We have the models. It's a good, fun toy. Um, and there's a lot of people who watch this channel who are into 3D printing. So we are gonna make these files available. We have just released a new Kickstarter for the exact same gun. If you want all the accessories around color die packs and uh, actually getting the kit itself, if you want this blaster for the pool or something along that, we will print it and send it to you. But it is mainly a file Kickstarter because these files are useful and you can scale them up and down to different syringe sizes and they're pretty darn nifty as far as a design. None of it has any screws. Uh, the cap does require gluing because there was no way around that, but you can use hot glue or anything else. And we will also release the step files so that you can modify this design yourself as well. But if you ever want to change the barrel or change out the gun, it's a twist and lock just like that that puts the syringe into the main handle and then you can change the size of the plungers. This large one is generally a little bit too big for young, young kids, um, but about six to 10 have no problem with it. And it's a great way to work for them because it's actually the perfect strength to make sure that they don't run out right away. Adults can unload it pretty darn quickly. But ultimately we wanted to talk about this product. This product we created very quickly and we did not do a good market analysis on it. We thought we could get it differentiated with the die packs, but that's not good enough. So even though we have the capability to make something, and even though it's a cool product as far as we're concerned, that doesn't really matter. So ultimately it failed. The good news is, is that we failed very quickly. The entire time put into this was just a few hours of the design work, which was on the weekend for the fun of it because I wanted them around anyway, uh, and then making it the Kickstarter itself, which was actually quite quick and efficient. Um, but it, the Kickstarter gave us a test to say, this is a dumb idea, get rid of it. And when designing a new product, you need to try to kill it just as quickly as possible. You need to get user feedback. You need to get to a minimum viable product and ship it to people to find out who cares and who doesn't. If you don't do that, you're gonna end up spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on production or molding or mass production 3D printing or whatever it happens to be, and you're not going to be able to actually be successful because nobody actually wants your product. So get the ugly baby out there as quickly as possible. And then over time, you can iterate. In the year we've made this, we have a better marketing channel through this YouTube channel of people who would be interested in maybe the model and the print itself, but also people who might be interested in the file itself. So we are now going to test this different version of this product where selling the files becomes an option. So if you wanna go over there and see our biggest loss from last year and biggest waste of time and product that didn't really work, but it's still kind of cool. And if you wanna get the files yourself, go ahead and check out the Kickstarter link down in the description. Have a great day, everybody.